My name's Mark and I come to Sable House because I have intestinal lung disease, which is a terminal illness. So I come here to see these guys and to relax and to use their facilities. Mark first came to the music, he was aware, I think, of the potential to leave some sort of legacy. Having a serious illness, I think he realised he might not have long left and uh, wanted to read these stories to his son and have him record in some way that his son would hear his dad's voice reading them. Reading by Mark Mills. <laughs> One spring morning, there was great excitement in the forest. Animals and birds hurried to welcome the new prince. His name was Bambi. And we'd done like the talk and the playing the drums and then I just when I was at home I just thought what I want to do something constructive and my whole life revolves around my little boy. But I wanted him to have some memories of me, not somebody just telling him about me. Do you see what I mean? I wanted him to be able to hear my voice and and what have you because my partner's quite young and my little boy's quite young. They've got the rest of their lives to live. I'm not gonna be here for that. Um, so that's why I want to try and make as many memories with him as possible. We've done the Alf and the Shoe Men, Three Little Pigs, uh, yeah, some Disney ones. But what was amazing was me and Tom done the story and then I'd come back next week and Tom would have put all these amazing sound effects in. It really, really was good. I think for patients, music often evokes memories and that's a good way to access these thoughts about their lives from the past. And in creating something new, that's a good way to leave a legacy, perhaps as well, to say I was here. I don't think the community could handle not having Sable House. I love it up here.